when, well, actually, when the question was first posed, what was it like working with Joe Fury? I have to admit, I did not recall ever working with Joe Fury. Um, but then it turned out uh, that uh, that it was there, had, there were some repressed memories uh, that through hypnotherapy I was able to recover. Uh, probably a lot of people find him wonderful. I wanted to say that right up front. He was great. He was really great. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, he uh, he actually always calls me Elaine which is obviously not my name, even though I've told him that like a thousand times. Um, it's totally obnoxious. Um, it was kind of impossible working with actors because he'd say stuff like, um, like, it might work if you didn't suck so much. Um, what can I really say about Joe? Um, come on. On the set. Um, he used to follow me around and go like, oh, we used to go to college again, we used to go to college again. I was like, I'd never seen him before in my life. It was, uh, it was, it was interesting. Uh, Joe has uh, a remarkable ability to inspire intense feelings of rage in others. He was to be called a hair director. Uh, at first I thought it was something with his quaff, and uh, I guess it's a German, in German, some kind of a German reference. Um, and that combined with the fact that he's, he's uh, uh, physically a repellent person. You can't really see it on film. Well, he's an asshole. Did you just bleep that? Don't bleep that. I mean, he is. He's an asshole. He did it again. Well, two, two words that come to mind are talentless and hack. Pretty much those two words. The thing is about Joe, there's no mistake. You know, it's not like you start and you think, hey, this, you know, I'm on some project that I'm going to have a good time. You pretty much know right from the audition, this is, is going to be hell. It was very upsetting. I, on so many levels, I don't even know where, I can't get into it. You know, we'd do takes, and I felt pretty good about him. And he would say, let's do it again, let's do it again. He was kind of freaking out on set. I'd say, okay, great, what do you want me to do differently? And he was like, just do anything other than what you just did. No, Joe, I know Joe was credited as a writer on his radio, but to the best of my knowledge, he never wrote anything. I think occasionally he would fold up his script and stain it with his underarm perspiration and hand it back and say, there, there's your revisions. We had these kissing scenes, and... Um, he wanted to rehearse in his dressing room, you know, it's like three hours before we went to set. And I was like, it was just a little uncomfortable. I read the script, like, a lot. And, you know, there were no kissing scenes between Joe and I. But he'd be like, we should rehearse just in case there are. Uh, he kept asking me if I was available. <laughs> she was so uncomfortable. And I kept saying, no, I'm not. And he kept saying, do you have a sister? And I would say, no, and uh, she's not available. And then he said, what about your mom? And he kept asking to date me. And I, I repeatedly told him no, and that I was married. And then, and then he wanted to date my husband, which I, did, I never really understood that. Oddly enough, uh, kind of off the record, no, not a bad kisser, um, you know, not a great kisser, I mean, <laughs> better, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, hmm. you know, we're gonna work on technique a little bit, Joe. Joe? No, no, not a close personal friend at all, really just a, kind of just a horrid, vague memory uh, that now I can talk about without, without the, you know, without crying. You know how some people, they say about when you're working with uh, a director, they say, oh, he's a temperamental director. Uh, Joe was just an asshole. I can't say that it was uh, a pleasant experience working with Joe. I can't say it was horrific. I can't say it was scarring and traumatic. He used to throw stuff at us while we were acting. He said it kept us alert. He was cruel. He was uh, rude. He was selfish, jealous, babyish. You're, you're holding back. What are you... What really are you? annoying. Annoying. One day he had a beret and those... Um, Writing crap pants doesn't even, he's not even into the equestrian game as far as I, I can 
can find, but no, he had that and a monocle. Didn't didn't think there was a need for that as a director. And he used to borrow money from me all the time. Well, he used to borrow money from me all the time. And then he would get angry if I had too many small bills. And then he used to tell me that I owed him money. I've never had a worse experience. I've never. In fact, I think he was the one who stole my purse. I think he may be the one who stole my purse. I'm pretty sure it was Joe that stole my wallet. Based on the phone sex charges on my Amex. And I'm also pretty sure he was the one that stole my purse. No, I'm serious. He was caught on a security camera. I guess my major wish for Joe's future is that uh, it not exist. Um, that it just end. That, that his basic, you know, his very, very small and petty reign of terror come to an abrupt end. Um, rude, I said rude, rude, demonstrative. Are we done with this? Because I, I don't have any more time. I really gotta run. Oh. Uh, uh. He was inappropriate sexually. He was, uh, he was invasive. So do you pretty much have what you need? Okay. Yeah, thanks. No, hey, my hey, hey. What's going on? Oh, uh, hey, Elaine. What are you doing? Nothing. Just hanging out. Uh, just doing a little thing. You filming something? Yeah. Just a little thing. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm actually, uh, hey, got to run. Um, I hate to interrupt you. Can I, uh, borrow a little money? Uh, I don't have my wallet. I didn't bring a wallet today. That's cool. Yeah. Can you, you I'm get gonna, to me maybe later or something? Um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I gotta get out of here, yeah?